This is a tiny tutorial for the selection tool, and I'll also introduce some handy-dandy keyboard shortcuts that I'll try to repeat in my other tiny tutorials. I usually recommend that new players learn to use the, the selection tool first on their claim, um, combined with the add, delete, and the heal tool only, because as you learn to manipulate the selection tool, you'll find it's one of the most powerful, one of the most useful tools in the entire game right now. Um, in essence, if you've ever done any image editing and you've selected only part of an image, you're familiar with the concept of what it does. So it, it will select a specific area on a claim and allow you to manipulate either the natural landscape or to fill it in or delete materials, smooth materials, paint materials. See what I'm saying? It's got a lot of uses. Right now in closed beta, I would recommend that you start off with the smallest possible size that you can set this to, which is one voxel by one voxel by one voxel. Um, <clears throat> very often, if you've scaled another tool, I'm gonna scroll up, you might find that you have a giant selection tool. That's not good. It's really hard to manipulate. Sometimes it's good, but it's harder to make the fine tune movements that you want when it's this large. So. The way you engage, disengage any tool that goes for any tool that you're using to build is you press your escape key. And when you put it down, you can kind of see there, oh, it says it's two voxels. So I'm scrolling backwards at myself. And when I place it, it's back down to one voxel. All right. The select tool, there are a couple of ways that you can grab it and pull it and stretch it out over whatever you want to put it on. And one way is to use these little arrow doodads or handles. The other way is to use the face of the actual tool that's in between these little arrow thingies. I personally find it's much easier to make slower incremental movements by pulling on one of the faces of the tool rather than using the arrows. The arrows get a little loose and wily and sometimes I suddenly have my selection tool all the way across my claim. So at least during closed beta, I recommend starting small, pulling something out the length that you want and the width. And I am doing this by once I had the area selected, holding down my left mouse button and I'm simply dragging it in this case, I'm moving my mouse up and down on my mouse pad. I can run around and pull it on this side and do the same sort of thing. Now, to show you the difference, and oh boy, let's hope that I can not have it go way wacky. You'll see it's much looser this way. Which, sure, if you're maybe deleting a lot of material and you want to cover a lot of space all at once, that's great but I personally have a heck of a time with it. So if for some reason you switch back to the face, sometimes it will still be really speedy and loose and crazy and wild. To reset it, to slow it back down, you click on that and it slows it back down. All right. Now you'll notice that the selection tool is always going to go one voxel underground. So I'm going to do a quick introduction to tweak mode. In order to activate tweak with this, you just hold down shift and you can pull it up into the air if you want. You can use these arrows to drag it to the side, whichever you'd like. Okay, so that's what you do. The reason it's partially underground is very often you want whatever it is to blend with the ground. So I'm gonna bring this just above and I'm gonna show you how fast I can add a material and what it looks like. So if you've got your add tool, delete tool, whichever tool you use when it's active, it's gonna turn the selection area the same color as that tool, all right? So with the add tool, that's yellow, I can add a material I can delete the material. I can use my materials tray to switch materials. And add a different one. Or I can 
which materials? Let's pick a lighter wood since it's dark. And I can paint it a different color. And then I can also use it with my smooth tool. I'll show you very quickly though. Oops, getting ahead of myself here. I'll show you very quickly that you can also use it on the surface of something that you've already worked on and drag it over and enclose whatever it is you're working on. Again, I kind of pull it out a little bit further, keeping it rather small, and then push it back in. And then you can switch to your smooth tool. All right, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. There are different modes for smooth tool, but that's a different tiny tutorial. First, I want to quickly show you how easily, Ooh. go back to my smallest size using the scroll wheel how easy it is to delete part of your claim. Again, pressing shift and pushing it down into the ground. Pulling on the sides again, holding the left mouse button and dragging. And then I'm going to switch to my delete. And this is a good time to teach you my favorite two keyboard shortcuts. Control Z to undo an action. Control Y to repeat it. So hold down Control, press Z. That undoes whatever you did. It's like a step backwards, it reverses. And then Control Y will repeat it. And the nice thing about Control Z, we're going to have that repeat itself a bunch of times, is you can go back 20 steps. All right, that concludes this somewhat tiny tutorial. I'll talk to you soon.